Wow. Well, our next speaker is Darren Wolf. So, Darren Wolf, could you please come up here? Let's give him a round of applause. Okay, thank you, Steve. But especially thank you to all of you brave, liberty-minded people who came out here today in defiance of federal tyranny. Yes. So let me ask you a question to get started. Do we have any progressives here today? If you're a progressive, raise your hand, please. Okay, no hands came up. Very good, very good. I ask that because that is really what we are here protesting today. That's what we're here protesting is progressivism. Because remember, progressivism gave us things like the Federal Reserve System. It gave us things like the income tax. Progressivism gave us things like regulation of everything in sight. The 17th Amendment. And the, the, the gentleman said 17th Amendment. And progressivism also gave us things like okay. the IRS. Progressivism gave us uh, the IRS, but also progressivism. The Federal Reserve. Gave, that's what I said, the Federal Reserve. Yes. Progressivism also gave us the police state. That's right. And lastly, progressivism gave us the National Park Service. And the only thing I will give them to their credit is that today they're not here. <laughs> that said, <laughs> the National Park Service has shamelessly played their role in this uh, shutdown theater. They shut down what's most visible. They shut down what will cause us the most pain, like the parks. But isn't it interesting that the IRS didn't have to shut down for the shutdown? Did the, uh, did the ATF shut down for the shutdown? No, no, but we have to shut down the parks. What are we gonna do? Today we live in a world of the progressives' creation. It is, where is it? Ah, ah, somewhere halfway between socialism and liberty. And it is a very volatile mixture. We live in a world increasingly ruled by force. Force wielded by a very powerful government. So whether it's the force of the income tax, the force of regulation, the force of compulsory education, or the force of law enforcement, the results are clear to anyone willing to see. And that is a society becoming sicker and more aggressive. Progressivism has failed to achieve its lofty ideals. Instead, it has created our present situation of taxation and oppression, crime and murder. Society will only heal by turning away from being ruled by force and back towards voluntary interaction between its members. The answer is liberty. The National Park Service, I almost hope that there would be some of them here today. I would have loved to point to one, but yeah. And regardless, um, the Park Service and everybody else in the government, they love to tell us, oh, you need us, you need us. We do all these things for you, we protect you, and blah, blah, blah. No, that is a lie. That's the biggest lie you'll ever hear. We do not need them, they need us. They need us to be sheep, compliant sheep, paying our taxes so they can keep leeching off of us. And that is the answer to how we're going to get our liberty back. Withdraw consent. Withdraw consent. Withdraw our support. That is the key. If there's one thing that we can take away from this event today, one lesson that can be learned is that we do not morally owe taxes to anyone. Morally, not legally, morally we do not owe taxes to anyone. Taxation is theft. Taxation is tyranny. And the sooner it ends, the better. Then we can be free. Now. Oh, that's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're doing. 
Unbelievable. Henry David Thoreau is well known for his work, Civil Disobedience. All kinds of people like to cite him. They say, oh, Civil Disobedience. We'll do Civil Disobedience, like Thoreau, like Thoreau. Well, you know what they very conveniently forget to mention is what Thoreau's Civil Disobedience was. Thoreau was protesting slavery in the Mexican War. And what he did, or I should say what he didn't do, was pay taxes. That's why he went to jail. And that is exactly the lesson we learned. He is showing us the way. Here's what he wrote on the subject. A minority is powerless while it conforms to the majority. It is not even a minority then. But it is irresistible when it clogs by its whole weight. If a thousand men were to not pay their tax bills this year, that would not be a violent and bloody measure. This is, in fact, the definition of a peaceable revolution. If the tax gatherer, if the tax gatherer or any other public officer asks me, as one has done, but what shall I do? My answer is, if you really wish to do anything, resign your office. When this when the subject has refused allegiance and the officer has resigned his office, then the revolution is accomplished. And then we can be free. Now I was going to chide, I was hoping to have some park rangers here to chide them, to say, put down your badges, come here and join us standing for liberty. But they're not here. Uh, I know, they're ruining my speech. Anyway, um, so let me close with a message to them and to everybody else who supports federal tyranny today. And that would be with the words that Samuel Adams had for the people that supported British tyranny in his time. If ye love wealth greater than liberty, the tranquility of servitude greater than the animating contest for freedom, go home from us in peace. We seek not your counsel nor your arms. Crouch down and lick the hand that feeds you. May your chains set lightly upon you. And may posterity forget that you were our country. Thank you. Thank you, Darren, so much. Wow, this is amazing. It feels like the balls of Tea Party all over again. We're doing